Japan's Prime Minister Fumio Kishida has almost completed his tour of the G7 nations as the country takes over the presidency of the grouping. After meeting the leaders of member nations, Kishida said that he raised issues of security of the East Asia region during his meetings. Kishida on Saturday said that he warned Western powers that East Asia could be the next Ukraine and referring to the threats of rising China and an aggressive North Korea. He urged on the need for a united front. Kishida's last visit was in the United States where he met President Joe Biden. Following the visit, the Japanese Prime Minister said that he shared with G7 leaders his strong sense of crisis regarding the security environment in East Asia. He called the security concerns in Ukraine and East Asia as inseparable. The threats Kishida has referred to surround China's growing assertiveness in the South China Sea. Beijing is having a slew of island disputes, including with Japan, the Philippines and Vietnam. China is, in August, also fired missiles into waters that lie in Japan's economic zone as part of major military exercises around Taiwan, while North Korea has been actively testing its nuclear missiles, accusing United States and South Korea of preparing for an invasion. One of the missiles launched by Pyongyang even flew all over Japan, prompting it to raise alerts and lodge protests. <laughs> While we strongly urge China to act responsibly and assert what needs to be asserted, we believe that it is important for both sides to engage in thorough dialogue, including on various issues of concerns and to cooperate on common challenges and to build a constructive and stable relationship through the efforts of both sides. Kishida said he would work to explain thoroughly to the public the need to use tax money to ramp up defense spending to 2% of GDP. The goal is separately set by NATO, and more countries are accepting it now since Russia's invasion of Ukraine. He also talked about his meetings with British and Italian Prime Ministers Rishi Sunak and Giorgia Meloni. He discussed with them about moving ahead on three-way development of a next-generation fighter jet that uses artificial intelligence. In addition to security and defense issues, Japanese Prime Minister also discussed about the country's economic plans. He said that Japan has not yet decided whether to join the United States on cutting the economic power off from imports of semiconductors, which are critical for advanced technology. About semiconductors, as you have pointed out, needless to say, this is an important material with implications to the economy and security. We want to have closer communication starting with the US and other allies and other like-minded countries and think how we can handle this. Based on this, Japan would like to deal with this issue in a responsible way. Kishida says that Japan still sees itself as a peace-loving nation and will use the G7 to push for the eventual abolition of nuclear weapons. We On is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.